So I want to talk a little bit more about the Holy Trinity, and it's usually referred to as the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And this is one of the aspects in which our society has sort of buried the idea of true balance within the self, in that it's really the father, the child, and the mother is this fundamental archetype sequence. And that the Trinity, you could say, is this perfect division of three of the infinite. But it's not like an equilateral triangle, as Marco here has laid out uh, with the 693, in that you have, always have a symmetrical axis. And so the symmetry of the three, you have the scientist and the artist and the philosopher. And that how do we utilize this theoretical concept and truly apply it to ourselves? And so the first thing is recognize where in you are you a scientist, where in you are you an artist and a philosopher, and see and identify those aspects within you and nourish them. Because as philosophers throughout the ages, such as with Gurdjieff in the early 1900s, talked about the fourth way, the middle path, and what it means to walk this way. Because the fourth way, the middle path, is when all of these three aspects come into balance when your conscious thought processes, your unconscious and your subconscious are all unified and working together. And so we have like the left and right hemispheres of the brain, which is the conscious unconscious and the rational and the associative. There's so many uh, th ways I can describe these aspects. And the corpus Christum that connects the brain, that's this spiritual intelligence, this holistic thinking and how this all comes together into, into balance when the brain communicates the way it really wants to communicate and getting into this organic thought processes. And so this really, at the end of the day, requires self-awareness. It requires self-work in terms of looking at yourself and identifying how you're thinking in a specific moment and, and realizing, is this healthy for me? Is this beneficial? Or is it like, well, I really don't engage in this energy much. I should engage in this way more than normal. And so... Uh, but at the same time, to also recognize that there are cycles, because we are oscillating between the 693 and the 396, and that there's times where you're going to be way more of a scientist. And right now you could say I'm being more of a scientist than, than anything. But there's a little artist in me, a little passion coming out, and we're getting into the metaphysics, talking, you know, the, the philosophical point of views. But we go through these oscillations, and the path of least resistance is not putting up walls or resistance to when you're going in those directions. There's times where you're supposed to be a worker and there's times where you're supposed to be a lover. There's times where you're supposed to be engaged and times where you're supposed to just rest. And that as humans, we really want to force everything and make everything happen. And there's a process to letting go to the flow of existence. But that requires listening. That requires being present truly with yourself and allowing yourself to be in these different states. And, and also maybe in essence of allowing yourself to flow through these different states, that is really the middle path. That's the, the fourth way. In that you could say, it's always going to rain, but it's up to you to do what you want to do with that day when it's going to rain. It's going to get cold tonight, so you got to bundle up. You know, cycles happen. And there's ways that we can interact with those cy cycles that mitigate them or enhance them. And that there's this paradox with how much we can control reality with our free will, and then the divine will and what just sort of happens. And to really find this healthy balance between the two in terms of how we go about our daily activities. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section because it very well could end up being our next video. Learn more at www.gregor.ninja where I'm talking about really cool things like Nikola Tesla and these star coils and how that's changing the scope of the universe and well, it's coming to a reality near you. So I invite you to participate. Thank you and blessings.